When it comes to hydrangeas, it is easy to get caught up in the pink and blue hues. However, do not overlook white hydrangeas that offer a versatile and classic appeal to the landscape. These white bloomers can easily blend into established landscapes, adding dimension and interest to flower beds and borders. But with so many different varieties with varying flower forms and plant sizes, how can you choose the right type for your landscape? Don't worry, I'm here to help. Hi, this is Amy from Gardening Know How, and I would like to introduce you to five of the best and easiest to grow white blooming hydrangeas. First, let's start with the smooth hydrangea, Hydrangea arborescens. The perfectly rounded flowers are produced in abundance during the early summer months and can tolerate a good amount of shade. Part shade is recommended for those southern gardeners while full sun can be tolerated up in the north. This type works very well as a short hedge or single specimen in the landscape. While you may be familiar with the old fashioned variety of Annabelle, the best variety within this group is a newer introduction named Incredible. The strong and sturdy stems support the large flowers, nearly the size of basketballs. The white blooms age gracefully to a jade green shade from summer to fall. Now don't let the delicate look of this shrub fool you. They are as hardy as they come, tough as nails, and bloom on new wood, meaning they will bloom each and every year for you, no matter what winter may bring. White flowering forms of the mop head hydrangea are few and far between, as many gardeners prefer the vibrant colors of the typical blues, pinks, and purples of this group. However, with the beautiful bouquet-like flower heads of the wedding gown hydrangea, you may prefer the white color that can complement many other hues in the landscape. The blooms open more like a lace cap type, but quickly fill into a typical mop head shape, adding elegance to the garden. Wedding gown typically blooms earlier than other varieties within this family, blooming early in the spring and reblooming all summer into fall. These white hydrangeas will remain white and are not affected by soil pH like their blue and pink counterparts. Somewhat similar to Incredible, the wedding gown hydrangea would prefer a bit of shade, especially in the afternoon in both the north and south. The previously mentioned white hydrangeas remain white or almost white for the entire season, but the next three varieties add a slight tinge of color that can shift as the flowers age, providing dimension and multi-season interest in the landscape. A favorite of the small scale hydrangeas is Bobo. This one will turn heads with an abundance of large, lacy, white cone-shaped blooms all in a compact little frame. It is almost as if the flowers cover every inch of the plant right down to the ground. The flowers will age to a lovely soft pink closer to late summer and fall. This extremely floriferous variety won't flop either as the blooms are held upright on strong stems, blooming in full sun to part shade. This tried and true variety grows to just three feet tall by three to four feet wide at maturity. Oak leaf hydrangeas are prized for their long pyramid shaped flower spikes on a shrub with multi-season interest, including large dark green leaves that turn an eye-catching shade of red or burgundy in the fall. They can withstand warm temperatures and drier soil than other types of hydrangeas, giving hope to gardeners with more challenging conditions. The striking white flowers usually transform to pink or tan as the weather cools. But unlike other groups, I cannot single out just one variety that is better than all the others. I can promise you that you will be happy with any variety within the oak leaf family that fits the needs of your space requirements. Old fashioned varieties such as Alice or Snow Queen can quickly grow upwards of 10 feet tall or more, providing a unique flower display worthy of their notoriety. Growing a bit more compact at just six to eight feet tall are their cousins, Gatsby Moon, Gatsby Star, and Gatsby Gal. Each variety boasts a unique bloom each with tightly placked white florets, creating very full panicles with a long bloom season. Last but not least is a variety called Munchkin, growing to just three feet tall and wide. The abundant white flowers appear early in summer and gradually turn to medium pink as they age. This variety is still quite showy, especially related to its more compact plant size. The fifth hydrangea in our list is the most popular and most widely known, and it is called Limelight. This multiple award winner has become a garden classic with its large football shaped white blooms with a lime green tint that also fade to a pinkish shade by fall. 
Plus, this shrub blooms every single year, even in cold climates, as winter doesn't phase this time-tested favorite. Growing to six to eight feet tall and wide, you can use limelight as a flowering hedge or to screen unsightly objects such as air conditioners, trash cans, or those pesky neighbors. Limelight also works very well as a single attention-grabbing specimen in flower beds and borders. This plant can thrive under a wide range of growing conditions, from sun to shade, and even thrive in soils that stay on the drier side. Limelight does bloom a bit later in the season, so if you're in need of earlier color in the landscape, consider its cousin, Quickfire. Quickfire is one of the earliest bloomers of the panicle group, blooming well before the others. The flowers open white, then turn pinkish red near fall. Quickfire is also a favorite of pollinators looking for early summer nectar. Now you have the know-how to light up your landscape using the brilliant white flowers of these versatile shrubs. Did your favorite make the list? Let us know in the comments below. To learn more on hydrangeas, including our top five tips for happy hydrangeas, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Well, thanks for watching and happy gardening.